Hello. 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 What are we doing today? We are going on. This little baby has never gone anywhere in the entire whole wide world except for this hospital. He's going to eat breakfast and we're going to eat breakfast. And then we're going to start packing up and getting ready to go. You have a puppy to meet. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna miss this view because I can't wait to get home with James and Eve, but this is a pretty stellar view. Oh, look at this serious level. We are packing bags. This bed is empty. Got one more bag there, one more bag there, one more bag there. Baby's not in the bassinet anymore. Uh, legal jargon. Sarah's feeding him right now, and then we just have to sign the discharge forms. I think Sarah's gonna change and maybe quick grab one quick photo on this bed and then we're gonna get rolling. Is this not the cutest little boy born on November 1st, 2020 that you've ever seen? Got a little wintry Irish outfit. such a cool curbside little tutorial to make sure the first baby car ride is safe. It's doing so good, so calm. That was my most emotional moment that I was... Like you being wheelchaired? I wish I was with you. Yeah, but like I mean, just, just being wheelchaired out like, holy smokes, I am leaving this with this baby. Ready to come home? All right, James, first words. It's good to be home. <laughs> wow. Are you done? I'm gonna let it go. Yeah. Hi, Ian. Hi, honey. There's Eve. I got her. And there's Sarah and James. She big dog barks now. What? We parked and she was like, Rush, <laughs> rush, she was like, ruh, ruh, ruh. Eve, look, it's James. Is he? Here, you want to meet him? Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. Be upstanding in court. He told me to live every day again. Almost exactly the same. So Sarah's editing the vlog. We ordered Chipotle for like an early dinner. And I'm kind of be skimming through some CNN, Fox, NPR kind of coverage of the election tonight as the night continues. And he's snoozing a little bit. He didn't wake up when Evie barked at the door. Evie's just like kind of uncertain still. I yeah. don't really think she realizes. Yeah, it hasn't hit her yet. She's more concerned about the food right here than James. She's basically been asleep since she's been home. This is James' room. There's also a big mess that I have yet to clean up. This is all of our bags from the hospital. But we're doing so much stuff. We're getting some jammies for the little man while we watch. We're going to watch It's a Wonderful Life to get away from the election because it's too early to watch the election because not as many votes are in. Um, so it's like, it's silly to be like, projecting with 1% of the vote in. Mickey Mouse! I mean, we're definitely going to be watching it all night. But we're going to pick out James first. You said basket on the left? The actual brown basket on the bottom. I think I like, are these 0 to 3? I think I like the look of these bumblebees. 
Look at these cozies. Do you want to see the most adorable pajamas? I did not go with the bumblebees. <laughs> Let's see. He's like a little caterpillar. It it's got, it's just like a little hole in the bottom for his feet. Little it's doggies. A, it's like a Nick Miller night t-shirt. <laughs> we got Evie sleeping. We got James who just ate a little bit. He's snuggling up on our duck attack. I've been bouncing between watching like election coverage for like five or ten minutes and then watching like 20 30 minutes of it's a wonderful life because it's the christmas season son he's away and he's perfect and he needs christmas pajamas on good idea ernie a toast to my big brother george the richest man in town <laughs> That single line right there brings Sarah to tears every single time, and now she's holding her child watching that scene, knowing that we're going to wake up Christmas morning with a baby. Dear George, oh, I gotta read it. Dear George, remember no man is a failure who has friends. Thanks for the wings. Love, Clarence. It's the best movie in all history. Alright, we have James's library here. And because of the election today, we're gonna read James his first book at home. No, my first book of protest. Black people were enslaved before the Civil War. Frederick Douglass ran for freedom. Then he spoke out for more. He said, No, no. All people must be free. She said, no, no, we deserve the right to vote. Gloria Steinman harnessed the power of the pen. She said, no, no, we want equality now. She said, no, no, and rallied from her chair to make the world a kinder place, accessible and fair. Greta Thunberg went on strike when she was just 15 she spread her message far and wide. We must go green. She said, no, no, our forests are on fire. Climate change is real. The situation is dire. Cute to the little background on the protesters in this book. James will be a little protester one day. And that is a perfect story for an anxious election night. All right, I gotta change that because it's actually 110, but we are not staying awake until the election is called because it looks like it's not being called until Michigan and Pennsylvania count all of theirs, which they have until tomorrow and Friday, too. So, we have not done this for the new month. The monthly message is, Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast. A house into a home, a stranger into a friend. It's by Melody Beatty. First is from the book of Peter. Not my book, a different Peter's book. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. And the second, E.B. White. We should all do what we should all do what, in the long run, gives us joy, even if it's only pricking apples or sorting the laundry. I dig that, E.B. White. And the last one for today, whoa, is by Jackson Kittard. Think of life as a school for your soul. You are here to learn a perfect well-being. Here's a tip for life's pop quizzes. Instead of asking why something happened, ask and said, what can I learn? For extra credit, ask, and how may I serve? Alrighty, our first night at home. It's a late one, but we're gonna try to go to bed and yeah. see how long this little guy sleeps. Yeah, I wish us luck. It's good to be home. It's so good to be home.
know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.